Okay. Now, um, I don't really think this is going to be that difficult for you. It seems like a lot. Don't judge a lot just by the numbers. All right. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. You are supposed to, in this section, translate each phrase into an algebraic expression. Now, an algebraic expression is simply an expression with addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. There's no equal sign. All right. So all you're doing is writing down what operation you think there is. All right. Now, what I want to do is try to get that to stop. All right. So number one, it says $4 less than the cost of a sweater. So stop and think about it. All right. Now, let's say the sweater cost $100. How much is it going to cost now? So see how your brain automatically did that, right? So just because there's a variable involved doesn't mean it's harder. All right? So what do we want to call the sweater? What letter? S. S. Now, I don't really like S's because my S's look like what letter? Five. Or number five. That's right. I don't like to use S, but you can use S. Now, if you're going to use S, generally what I say is... I write it like this, and then I put a little things at the end. Oh, that's not the right. All right. So my answer is going to be S what? Yeah, that's it, guys. I told you this is going to be easy. All right. So here we go. Sorry about my malfunction here but S minus four. Now, does everybody understand what I say? Sometimes your brain isn't sure if it's four minus S or S minus four. Does everybody understand that? Yeah. So if you put a number in, your brain automatically does it for you. All right, so that's kind of a little helpful little trick if you're unsure, all right, about the operation and, and the order in which you write down the operations. All right, so 13 more students than teachers. 13 more students than teachers. Go ahead, tell me. T plus 13. Teachers. T plus 13. Notice we're adding 13. We're not adding teachers. Does everybody understand that? Mm -hmm. That's why the 13 comes after the variable, and the variable we're going to call T. All right? Now, the money you earn babysitting is at a rate of $10 per hour. So what expression can I write for that? X times 10 is pretty good. But since we're talking about hours, wouldn't it be a good idea to just say what? And maybe H. That's what I was thinking also. Now, do you write H10 or do you write 10H? Oh, Actually, in algebra, in our pre-algebra also, generally with multiplication, we write the number first and then the variable. So we're just going to say 10H. Now, does everybody understand that represents 10 times H? Do we agree with that? All right, that's not bad. No, we don't do the multiplication sign, and I'll tell you why. And, and not even the dot anymore. All right. The reason why we don't do that is because mathematicians are lazy. We don't like to write out everything. All right. We do it as quickly as we possibly can. That's why the symbol isn't there. All right. It's always multiplication if the symbol is not there. All right. If you write 10 dot H, do I really care? No, I don't really care. All right. I don't like the X symbol for multiplication anymore because now we're into variables. So that looks like a what? That looks like an X. So it will cause possibly some confusion. All right, so number four, it says 30 pencils divided among some students. Yes, ma'am. So I originally asked something else, but now I think it's, so is it S divided by 30? So what are you dividing? The students or the pencils? <laughs> the pencils, so that goes first. All right, so. We're going to go, that's okay. We're going to go 30. Now, how do you do a division sign? 
Always a fraction. That is correct. Very smart. We don't do the division sign anymore. We don't do this. All right. We are past that now. All right. What we do is we do a fraction bar. So we say 30 divided by some students. And because you guys are telling me S, I'm going to show you. That's how I draw my S's so it doesn't look like a five. Everybody's good with that, right? Yes. Yeah, that's not that hard, guys. Everybody's good with that? Yep. All right, let's check out number five now. Uh-oh, you guys know how to replace variables with numbers, right? All right, so Talbot, what's number five going to be? That is correct. And just tell me the answer. Yes, you can just write down 25 on your paper. That's easy mental math. That's what we're practicing. All right, Sydney, what's number six? Three. Now, don't put my answers. They better understand what I'm saying, right? You do it yourself. The answer is three. You're checking your work. All right, Andrew, you're up, number seven. Okay, so... The age is a 10, so 20 minus 10 is a 10 plus 10 is a 16. Yeah, look how easy that is, guys. 16. Anybody have any issues? Mm -hmm. All right, Bennett, you get to tell me about number eight. Uh-oh, we got Luca, you got a question? No. All right, I'll let you do the next one after Bennett. Go. No, we're doing no. Oh, yeah. Just tell me, though. What's J? Yeah. Right. He's exactly right. So it was 22 minus what? Mm -hmm. That is correct. I'm sorry. I didn't understand what you were saying. 22 minus 15. He is correct. That is seven. That is seven. Is everybody happy with that? Yeah. All right. You're up for the you may have a question. All right. I'm kind of co going around the room trying to learn everybody's names. So that's why I'm kind of. In the future, I'm just going to say, what's the answer, all right? But I'm trying to call on people so I can look at your face and know your name with your face. Oh, hold on. I got Luca doing number nine, right, Luca? All right, explain to me, bud. So, uh, G, um, and G is six, and H is ten, so those, those together would be... Uh, that is correct. Divided by J, which is five, sixteen divided by five is it's twelve. It is twelve. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Now, eyes up here, please, because I'm going to show you a shortcut to division. All right. Remember, my goal is to try to help you, everybody with mental math. All right. Everybody should be able to look at that. Let me show you how I learned how to do division. Sixty divided by five. I just say five goes into six how many times? 12. No, no, no. Five goes into six 12. once. I know the answer is 12. I'm just trying to show you. Now when I do six minus five, what does that get? So I put a one in the corner up here. Have you guys ever seen that before? And now five goes into what number? Two. No. Nope. Five goes into 10. <laughs> Two times. There you go. That's the shortcut for division. All right, let me give you another example. Let's see how you're doing. All right, look up here on the board. Let's practice our mental math for division. Let's say I said to you, what is 78 divided by six? So how many times does six go into seven people? One. How many left Thank over? You. How many left over? One. So I put a one in this corner. Now that number's not eight, it's what? 18. 18. Six goes into 18. Three. Three times. Isn't that a cool way to do that? All right. Let me show you one more just to make sure. Remember, I'm not interested in answers, guys. I'm inter interested in you answering my questions that I'm having. All right. So I'm going to try one a little bit harder. All right. I'm going to say, uh-oh, I don't like the pencil on this. Let's say I said to you, what is 96 divided by four? Everybody should be able to look at that and say four goes into nine. How many times? Two. Two. Two with how many left over? One. Uh, 24. So 21. Yeah, there you go. Isn't that nice? 
right? That's a nice way of doing uh, division, all right? So you don't have to do four goes into 96, four times two is eight, subtract one, bring down the six, all that stuff was annoying, all right? You're big kids now. You should be good at mental math, all right? That's what we're gonna work on a lot, all right? If you're not good at mental math, do I care? No, I care that you're working on it and trying to get better. All right, that's what we're doing in here. All right, so now back to business. All right, someone who said they want to do 10. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Jackson. Oh, let me get this down. Sorry, I want to get the letters down so we can see it. Yeah, and well, let's start out with this. What's this going to be right here? 24, good job. So that would be good. J. No, just tell me. Look up with number one. J is, J is five. Just tell me. Yes, yes. Hold up. I'm putting up the board now. Now what do I do? 30 minus 20. Yep. Plus 24. Yep. Thank you. That's nice. Anybody have any questions with that? All right, I feel good about this. All right, Isaac, let's see what you got for number 11, buddy. So hold on a second. I'm just going to write on my notes just because they're telling me this. One pint is equal to 16 ounces, and that's true. Okay. All right, suppose the number of pins of liquid is represented by P. Write an expression to find the number of fluid ounces. So what are you thinking? Uh, I kind of wasn't paying attention to the question because what I I know no no it. it's all right. No, no, no. You don't have to explain anything. I don't care, right? I I, I want to help you. So if you don't understand the question, you just say, hey, I need a little help. And if if you don't know, it's okay. If you want to give it your best shot, that's my advice. It says, suppose the number of pints. Now let's say we're confused. All right, let's say I have three pints. How many ounces would I have? Yeah, stop there. That's all you need to know, three times 16. So what is represented by the number of pints? Expression, sorry, I thought it was 48. No, 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 stop. No, no, no. I don't want an answer. Tell me, Isaac, what is representing the pints? Uh, one pint is. No, no, no. What letter? Oh, P. P. So here's what I'm trying to teach everybody now. Look up. It's telling you that the pints is labeled what? P. P. So if I want to know how many ounces are in P pints, what would you tell me? Shh, don't anybody tell them. Uh-huh. No, no, no. Listen to the question. I'm going to ask you one more time. Look how your brain worked. I said, how many ounces are in three pints? And you said? Right. So if I said, how many ounces are in six pints? You would do what? Okay. I'm going to get a little wild and crazy. Let's say you had 150 pints. How many ounces? Lost. 150 pints. How many ounces would that be? 16 times. Right. I just said 150. 16 times what? 150. I don't care what the answer is. Now, listen to me. What if I have P pints? How many ounces would that be? No, no, no. P is a any number. What would I do to the number by, shh, don't tell them, multiply it by what? By what number? The number that how many pints or how many ounces in a pint? How many ounces are in a pint? Yes. Right, so now listen to what I said to me, bud. So if I said you had three pints, come on now, everybody hold your spot. If I said three pints, what do I have to do to figure out how many ounces? You just told me to do three times what? Now I said something like if you had eight pints, how many ounces is that going to be? What do I have to do? Right. Then I said, I'm going to get a little wild and crazy. I'm going to say I have 150 pints. How many ounces is that? Uh, eight, uh, 150 pints times 16. Right. So now I'm just going to come over here and say, well, let's say I have P pints. Yeah. 
How many ounces is that going to be? I don't understand. That. Look, yes, you do, because you just told me all the answers. 16. Yes, that's it. But do we say P times 16 or do we say 16P? 16. 16P is better. All right. Now, see how I figured that out, right? I didn't know, so I just made up numbers for pints. Then his brain said automatically multiply. So you take the simple and you apply it to the complicated, and it's the same process. All right. So, Grant, how many fluid ounces are in five pints? Oh. Calculate that for me. Shh. How do I figure that out, Grant? Yeah. Yes. So to what two numbers am I multiplying? Uh, five times. How many ounces in a pint? 16. Yeah, multiply five times 16 in your head. Five times 10. How much is five times six? six. Five times six. Shh. Guys, we're not helping. I, I don't, I know, I'm not, I'm just saying, I, I want everybody to have a chance. Everybody's going to put in a hot seat and you're just going to be times when you don't know something. I'm helping you. Telling the answer is not helpful. I said one more time, we're doing five times 16. What's five times 10? Five times six. 50 plus 30. That's how you do mental math. 80. Beautiful. And of course, we'd write down 80 pints. All right, I'm happy with that. All right, hopefully everybody understands what I'm saying. I want to hear what you have to say. All right, I'm on Hampton. Yes. Three times as many balloons. How are we going to represent that? I, for number 12, I did B, um, B and B and three, just that. But I don't like the B first. Oh, 3B. Yes, everybody's going to write down 3B. Sorry. That is correct. No reason to be sorry. You are learning like everyone else. All right. Hunter, you're up. So what am I going to do? Um, 24 over S. Yes, 24 over S. All right, if you choose another letter, I'm totally fine with that. All right, Talbot, read number 14. Let's go. Uh, the number of people is by 13. So what would that be? So... Increase. What operation is increase? So listen to me. If I said, um, I want to take your average and I want to, let's say your average is an 85 and I want to increase it by five points. What would it be? No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on. 85 increased, increased, increased means you're going up. Yes. Adding increases, adding decrease is what subtracting yeah. all right here we go don't be sorry you're learning like everyone else so how many people do we have do we know oh no we don't know the number. so that's going to be a variable what variable uh, p. yes p and then what does increase 13 by uh, yes add what how many yes that's it p plus 13 all right, P plus 13, perfect. Chase, you're up. Tell me about 15. Number of inches in any number. Uh-oh, in order to do this problem, you have to know how many inches in a foot. 12. 12, all right. So how do I calculate the number of feet or the number of inches in any feet? So. Let's say you had three feet. How many inches is that? Um. 36. Let's say I had 10 feet. How many inches? 120. So what are you doing? So you're uh, multiplying. So you're by what? By what number am I multiplying by? One. 
I said three feet. Oh, you multiply oh, that. Three. You multiply that by one. No, twelve. Three yes, three. you're multiplying by what number? Oh. Twelve. So what's my answer? Yes, we're not going to say f times twelve. We're going to say twelve f for multiplication. The number comes in front. All right. See, not everyone knows all this. That is what I'm saying. There's no reason. All right. Everyone's struggling a little bit. All right. Don't be shy. All right. We got this. All right. Number 16. Who do I want? I would like Kellen. Go. Yes. Ooh, this one's a really hard one, buddy. I know some of you, are, we're going to think about that for a minute. Kellen, what are you thinking on this? No, no, no. Say it again. I'm okay with that, but that's not entirely correct. Let me give you an example, please. Everyone listen to me. Listen, listen, listen. If I said to you four more than the number of weeks in, well, let me That's think us. about that. That's not us, is it? So, all right. Four more than the number of weeks in a group of days. Yeah, I don't really like this one. You're right. All right. I was going to say that when you have this, situation it's going to be plus four right now four more than the number of weeks in a group of days yeah i, I don't i don't want i don't like that problem we're, we're going to skip 16 all right i think they made a little typo there or less than the amount of sense yeah now 17 i think is more reasonable because why because if you have dimes, what do you do to dimes to get it to cents? Let's say I had five cents or five dimes. 50 cents. I'd have 50 cents. What if I had eight dimes? 80 cents. Right. So I take the number of dimes and multiply it by what? Ten. By 10. Come on now. Come on now. I know you guys don't use dimes much anymore. A dime is 10 cents, correct? Yes. So if you have 10 dimes... You have a, a dollar. If you have five dimes, you have 50 cents. Does that make sense? So if you have D dimes, let's say you have D dimes, how much money do you have? I have to multiply the number of dimes by what? Ten. By 10. So 10 D is the amount of money you have or the amount of cents. And now I'm doing four less than that. So I have to do what? Mm -hmm. Minus four. All right, just put that down for number 17. That was a little tricky. All right. Now, what time does the bell ring? Do you guys know? It's at 12. It's in like 11.56 right now. 12.15? Oh, no, I'm asking you what time do we, what yeah. time does the bell ring? All right, let me double check just to make sure. St. John's bell schedule. Uh, lunch is 12.11, it looks like. The bell rings at 12 11. So we have 10 yeah, so we have, well, we have more than that. Don't we? All right, let me go back. Let me go back. I'm ready now. I just don't want to be late. Okay, here we go. What's the matter? So we have to show our work for 18 through No, no, no. This is mental math stuff. Mental math. I'm on like 27 and Yeah, well, come on. 18, here we go. Uh, Let me see. I'd like, uh, Luca, you can try this one. Uh, 18, 13. 18 is 13. You are correct. Kellen, let's go back to you, buddy. What's 19? It's four. That is correct. Let's, anybody have a question with that? Oh, no. All right. Hold on. I'm getting there. I'm getting everybody. Lydia, tell me about 20. I'm 16. I'm Hold on a minute. 22 minus 5. You are correct. That's good. All right. Let's do Sarah. Yes. 
36. And what's that? 18 plus what? Wait a minute. What's B? Oh, yeah. well, right. So 18 plus 16. Tell me what that is. Just 10 plus 10. 10 plus 10. Eight plus six. Shh, come on. 14. 14. 14 plus 20. Still yeah, 34. All right, that's how I used to add. 10 plus 10 is 20. 8 plus 6 is 14. What's the matter? Um, oh, yeah, 20. I got 7, 7, 7. Yeah, what did we say? Two times what? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, you guys are right. Good job, guys. Yeah. 22 minus 5. You're right. Is what? 17. 17. Good job. Good catch, guys. 17. Yeah. Fix that. Thanks, Lydia. All right, here we go. Give me uh, Levi. Tell me about 22, Levi. 22. Shh, shh. Uh, so nine times four is yes. 36. Yep. 36 divided by 66. Yes, that's true. 22 is six. Good job. All right, Jackson, tell me about 23. Um, so 23, um, eight times nine is 72. And B is four, 72. Four gives me. So you're good, buddy. That was good. 18. All right. And let's do Brooklyn. You're up, kiddo. Number 24. Um, wait, 24? Yes, 24. 3, 8, 5, minus 11, which is 55. Right. Minus 4 times 9, which is 32. Wait a minute. 4 times 9 is what? Oh, 36. Yes, ma'am. Mm. You're right. Good job. 19. I'm happy with that. Now, um, let me do one more. Madeline, you get 25. Okay. I got, okay. So 7 times 4, which is 28, mm -hmm. um, minus 2 times 11, which is 22. And I got 17. Say, what, what's what's uh, 7 times B again? Oh, wait. I got it wrong. Come on, you're okay. Uh, so seven times four is twenty-eight. Good. Minus. Um, twenty-two. Oh, just... that's okay. Come on, come on, come on. Doesn't matter. Just tell me. What is it? Six. Yes. All right. Everybody's allowed to make a mistake. All right. I don't care. All right. That's why you're practicing your mental math. All right. Now, listen. I'm gonna cut you some slack. All right. What time's the bell ring? Uh, it rings in. Nine minutes. Yeah, I thought it was nine minutes, but I'm going to just double check just to make sure because I don't want to. Uh-oh. <laughs> St. John's bell schedule. We are fifth period. We get out at 11. So we have nine minutes. All right, we get out at 11. So let me go ahead and see what I can do for you as far as your assignment goes. So I want to do. Let's start with. 32, well, let's just do, I'll cut you some breaks. You just don't have to do 50 through 58. Oh, I'm almost done. All right. I'm almost done. There you go. You guys worked hard today. All right. All right. It's all right. Come on. We're not, we're not in a race. All right. It's not a race. All right, good job today, guys.